Hey, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are kicking some butt, having a great end of the weekend. Um, so today, pretty big deal. We're going to be running that Weapon Tech Gizmo 4. We've been building up to it. It's a super kind of costly type uh, run. It took a long time to build up to, but we are finally there. And so it is time to do the run. So... Right off the bat, this is going to be a 1,000 click run on Planet Sirene. It's going to be of the Weapon Techno Gizmo 4, which is going to generate a whole bunch of weapon blueprints in theory. At least 3 per 500 clicks is what we'd hope. Um, this has not been built up because, of course, I don't run these all the way up. Just so you guys know, these literally take both gizmos before them. And widgets, you know, like large amounts. And so I had to literally work all of this crap up and do a considerable amount of crafting to get us to the point we are. So like with all crafting runs, I always set this to where you guys can see the system. It better reads out what we actually get. Obviously, I had to deposit some money to be able to buy the rest of the materials. And... Um, this is going to track what kind of skills basically are going into the overall of everything. Just so you guys know, this guy is fully qualified. He is missing industrialist, though, to uh, do weapons engineering at his uh, weapon crafter you know, level, depending on which type of weapon, of course, varies, but is above 35th level likely in pretty much all weapon crafting overall, you know. Um, the engineering is, of course, high, and even the weapons manufacturing is at 2,910, which is plenty to facilitate a Tier 4 blueprint. So, real quick before we go, I'm going to make sure to get the blueprints already on me, off me, and that material real quick. So, we'll have a clean slate of what we're actually doing, right? Obviously, we generated some blueprints while we were generating stuff for this run, right? Not a shock there. Pretty big run. I am going to be using a uh, skill pill while we do this run. That's because I don't want to be missing out on any of the skills that we could necessarily get from this while we're doing it. Um, to go over, this is about 600 pet right here. That's 600 pet in muscle oil right here. We'll be burning out about um, 100 pet, I believe, in value in the uh, component widgets. You know, and so that's 700 pad. This is another 500 pad. So we're at 1200 pad there. And then techno gizmos, we're going to be burning 2040 pack a piece. So there's another 800 some pad there. And uh, so let's see, eight. Well, a bunch. I'll, I'll recalculate it. We'll go over it at the end. We'll make sure we'll, we'll know our plus minus by then. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to get this going. Like with all crafting runs, I always make my face disappear because I do like to sit here and have coffee while we're doing it. And it's just going to be awkward if I'm... I, I don't need picked up right now. But it's going to be awkward if I'm sitting here. Um, just sitting here. And so I'm going to get this underway. I do hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you guys can, send all the positive vibes you could. I'd love to get an HOF or a couple globals in here. You know, it's not... Not a requirement, but you guys want to shoot some positive vibes at me, I'll take them. Um, we're also, just for the record, I am hoping to get some Sirene blueprints today. I don't know that that will happen. I mean, let's cross our fingers. Let's hope big, right? I'm going to click this. Let's get it going. I'll make myself disappear. I'll only be talking when a new blueprint pops. And I will go over everything at the end. I hope you guys enjoy, and thank you guys for all being epic. By the way, this, this should actually be just absolutely profoundly kick butt, you guys. Just, just so you know, super excited about this.
So we already have a blueprint. So the blueprint we've got already is 600 something percent markup. Honestly, with this kind of a blueprint, we probably more likely make that. That's laser pistol 25th level. A lot of people use it. That is a 30 pet hit though. That's pretty nice. Just gonna say. Holy crap, thank you for that good luck, and that was a global right there. Hold, you have good timing, I'm gonna just say. You can shoot me more luck if you want. I'm just saying, that, that was awesome. So, this is 2,000 ped. This run is a 2,000 ped run. That's what it costs, TT style. I, I had to add it all up, just so you guys know. Okay, we've got a BC-20. Now, I'm going to bet that that's actually going to be worth a good amount. Ha, huh, not as much as I would have thought. So, shocking kind of a little bit, because that's actually a, a good little weapon right there. I'd probably just make that. I wouldn't even sell that at that, that markup. I would just craft those. By the way, we are dominating blueprint output-wise, though, just, just for the record. I always like to see about three drops per 500 clicky clicks. Right now, we're at two drops, and we're at, at a under 100 clicky clicks. I think that's pretty good.
We just got another freaking global, you guys. That is two globals in 10 minutes. I am going to tell you. You guys keep sending these vibes at us. Man, you guys rock. I tell you. I don't even know what to say. And that's a very valuable blueprint. Why is an LR60 so valuable? That's a 100,000% markup, guys. That's a 320 pad uh, drop. Just so you guys know. So we're crazy kicking butt now, guys. Crazy kicking butt. I don't even know what to say. I mean, like, we could kick some more butt. This is a pretty expensive run. But two, two globals. We're doing good. I feel solid on this. You guys keep sending out positive vibe energy. I love you guys. You guys kick so much butt, man. We forgot to put ourselves under a pill. What am I thinking? We're losing some valuable skill gain. Sorry about that, you guys. We don't want to do that. Skill gain's everything, guys.
Okay, so this the CBR 107. Let's look at what we're looking at. No real markup on that. It is a Calypso um, type. I mean, not Calypso, Cyrenian blueprint. So I kind of like the fact that we got that. I just wish it was a a permanent blueprint, probably over that, to be honest. But that's these are good guns. So we're a little over a quarter way done, setting the four blueprints. I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, it's hard to tell this early on, though, guys, just to be honest. I like the skill ups we're getting, though. Those are some solid, solid skill ups. Okay, so we just got another global. We're at three globals so far. Oh, we're doing good. Guys, this is uh, going to be a good percent markup. Too. Oh, no, it is not. Long blade 60 is an excellent weapon. Guys, what's up? Not enough 60th level guys? Swinging around 60th level swords? That's a, that's a beast sword, guys. Okay, well, we'll keep that. Eventually, we'll know somebody that's in that 60th level long sword and range. They'll be wanting that.
So, so far we are doing excellent on globals and on uh, overall blueprints. A very impressive run so far. That wasn't a bad hit. 18.6 some. That's that's pretty good. These are going awesome, guys. This is this is epic. Okay, so that's a Weapon Tech Gizmo 6 blueprint. I already have all the Tech Gizmo blueprints, so that's absolutely not really valuable. This this is obviously a, a quality rating worked up one. That That's an anomaly, right? Okay, and BP-70, that's going to have some good markup. 8,000 something percent, not massive markup, but that's reasonable enough, right? How big a pack did we get? 27. Well, that's a little ped.
Okay, so now these are worth some money. These A32s, this is a 30 second level plasma rifle. Or plasma weapon. Let, let's see which one it is actually. Imperium should tell me somewhere. Plasma, yeah, plasma weaponry. These are awesome. And they're pretty reasonable to make. And so, I'm not really sure the markup on this. Let's check. Probably pretty good, I would think. Uh, only 4,000% markup down here. Honestly, these are a rare blueprint. So, I would rather make them than uh, sell the blueprint on that one. Okay, so once again, this is a Techno Gizmo. That doesn't really have valuableness to us. We already have the full set. Um, if somebody was watching, they needed this, and they were in this area, I would get these Techno Gizmos just away, to be honest. Um, just to help somebody else out. We're about to hit the halfway mark. I want to point out that we with three globals are setting pretty freaking nice over here on this side, right? And we're setting pretty nice blueprint style. So 500, we're at the halfway point, three globals doing styling on blueprints. Let's look at what we got right now. We've got some LP25s, we've got the CBR107s, the LR60s, we've got BC20s, LB60s, the Technogismos we don't really care about. We just got a new blueprint too. Another Technogismo. We don't really care about those. Uh, BP-70s. The A-32s. Those plasma weapons. Those are awesome. Okay. So that's where we're going right now. Let's hope for three more little globals. And bring us to a six global run. If we could double this blueprint. Let's see. Two. Plus six. Eight. Nine. Nine. In the first 500. We get nine more blueprints. We're doing so freaking awesome. You guys don't even know. Well, you do know if you follow all the time. That's pretty good for a blueprint run. Just saying. I might even gain a whole point of engineering. That's a freaking miracle for me. I'm just going to tell you. Look, though, we are closing in on that end-of-year goal of the 6,000, guys. That's going to happen, for sure. The 6,000 engineering by the end of the year? Not even messing around. I'll be back on Monria probably in the days that I'm not streaming, just to make sure that happens. Doing some other mother shipping, too. Yeah, I just got to pick a day for the mother shipping stuff. But we're going to hit that 6,000. or Yeah, 6,000. This, this run is killing it.
Okay, you guys, you need to send global vibes again. I feel that we, we've went too long since we've just went again. And so if you guys could shoot some of that magic back at me, that'd be awesome. Okay, well, I don't know what happened here, but that's a, a, a SB70 is freaking expensive. I mean, not minus, that's only uh, four clicky clicks. Let's look at this. Oh, you know what? That's not ridiculous. That's only 3,000 something percent markup. I thought we were going to see a lot better than that. Is it that there's just not enough of the people at 70th, 80th level and stuff like that? Is that where we're dealing with? I feel these 60, 70s, and 80 objects should be fetching higher overall return value for blueprints. It's cool, but uh, just my thoughts on it. Okay, so let's look what we got. LR25, those aren't going to have extreme markup, but they sell like crazy. So 25th level zone is a super popular weapon category. That 10, 15, 20, 25 level, 30 level even to a point. Super popular weapon zone. In fact, the carbines in that zone sell like crazy. Crazy stuff there.
Okay, you guys are gonna have to send positive vibes again. We have a global for a second. So if you guys could harness your mojo and positive vibe it at us, that'd be epic. Because one more global would be awesome.
Okay, so we're three quarters of the way done now. And I would say we're set pretty good. I think the very first section of this, though, was doing better. So if it could go back to how we were doing when we first, like that first maybe 300 or so, 200 clicky clicks, that'd be awesome. Because those, that went well. We're still doing good, so I don't want to, you know, diss it. I don't know if we're recovered yet. Remember, this is a 2,000 ped run, and so there's... Just because it looks like we're doing good doesn't mean crap. You know what I mean? Like that's a, a large amount of volume. A bunch of metal residue looks like a bunch of metal residue, but 2,000 ped is is a lot. And so, yeah, there's almost 600 ped in metal residue set in there. But uh, I'm not really sure how that went. Honestly, though, I think we've recovered because of just... Um, Maybe it's these. Yeah, the LR60s right here are 100,000-ish, 95% markup. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's going to give us a... Consi By the way, what the crap on the volume. The volume of cells is wrong. So more people are in that zone, it looks like. If we can get even this... Uh, let's say we even get 50,000% markup on that. That's 160 pad. And so I, I would say that we would at least get 50,000% markup and we could possibly get that 100,000% markup zone. I don't know. I mean, we'll look at that later. Okay, so we're almost to approach the 200 clicky clicks left. That's absolutely not much left. That'll, that'll whiz through like crazy at this point. Who knows what we get in that. Let's hope for something big. We're still hoping for that elusive Sirene technology permanent blueprint of some kind that's a weapon. Okay, weapon techno gizmos, we've already established I don't really care about those. By the way, if any of you guys need these weapon techno gizmos, like obviously we have some some to, to throw around. I mean, I don't need them obviously, right?
Okay, so we got more BC-20s. Right there. And honestly, we didn't get very many the first time they gave them. They're not a high markup item, so that's... Mixed bag there. But it's not a horrible markup, you know what I mean? And BC-20 sell. We could just make a bunch of those. And sell them off. It'll be fine. Thank you. You're so awesome. I'm glad you told me. I wouldn't have noticed the whole time. So let me re-say what I just said while muted. Thank you very, very much, by the way. Um, so basically, we've done very well. All of our globals were in the first half. We've got a good amount of blueprints. You would think that this, this, oh, yeah. And um, in all honesty, I think we've done well. I just, I don't know for sure. Um, it's a 2,000 ped overall run, not counting any markups. I crafted all the stuff. We could assume probably a 10% cost to it. Anything I craft that, that costs me more than 10% actually makes me mad. I feel we've done bad if it, it's over 10% loss on a crafting run. At this point, I used to accept 15 to 20% losses all the time. But we've slowly got good enough that... Uh, the expectations has actually increased eventually when we get industrialist my expectations are I would like to see it drop to about 7.5 percent max you know what I'm saying but uh, who knows we'll find that out soon we did get some pretty valuable blueprints and I did also get some that I don't really care about they're kind of like I already have full sets of gizmos the gizmos don't have super high markup. It's about, yeah, that range. But they don't sell by enough that I think there's a good idea to drop them into the market. See the velocity of sell. And that's going to be a pretty common blueprint. And so I would be more likely to TT those out or just give them away to somebody that need them. I mean, it's an entire one pack. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't try to worry about that kind of stuff. Where we did do well... Is let's see where where are these guys? We got some A32s. This is one of the blueprints I do like to collect. I've been getting a few of them. I've been saving them up because I didn't want to start making these till we have a few. But this is a uh, plasma weapon, and it's a good plasma weapon. It's a 
obviously an Imperium one. I have the stuff to make all this crap though, so we're good on all that crap. That's a that's an extremely expensive one too. Did we just get another blueprint while I was visiting? Yeah. Okay, laser pistol, forties, four hundred something percent markup. I'm thinking we're probably realistically, guys, not gonna sell any of these blueprints. I mean, there's there's a chance I sell. Where is it? Is it the the LR sixties that were? The chance I sell the LR sixties. Just for the markup on them. That's a considerable amount of ped. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mix bag on that. Maybe take 20 of them, break off. Take the 200 ped from that, right? Because that's going to be like at least 1 to 200 ped. Yeah. Yeah, it's very expensive. Some of these blueprints are super, super expensive. That, that's one of the reasons you can... Yeah, it is. 10 ped per click. Yeah, 100%, dude. So, some... That's why you can make these blueprint runs. Like, legitimately... Oh, yeah. I agree. It, it's a pretty good weapon crafty level upper. Um... For sure. And so, uh, I, I I think it's amazing. I'm trying to work all the way up to um, the level 5 one this year, running these through. So I did a 1,000 clicky click on the 1, 2, 3, and this is the 4. The goal is to, uh, which probably won't happen till about almost like Christmas or something like that, because it takes so much material to save up for this crap. Um but I'll do the five also, probably this year, to be honest. I want to make sure to get us knocked out on this 6,000 um, engineering, though. That's been a big focus. And so I'll probably do some mothership runs and a little bit more Monrea stuff. Because I'm getting about three points per each time. But yeah, we're way closing in. And I get three points every time we do the Monria run, right? And so, at this point, we're at less than me swinging by Monria a few times. So I was thinking, uh, honestly, before the year's out, I'm going to probably do a lot of mother shipping in Monria time. Just because I want to get that 6,000 locked out. And then, in all honesty, after I have 6,000 engineering, I'm not really trying... I mean, I'll let it go up naturally... But I don't have a need for more engineering. Yes, those are all blueprints from this run. 100%. That's why we're running this. This is a blueprint generating blueprint, for sure. And so, we started, I cleared everything out before the, the start of this blueprint on purpose. And so this, far does better than most of the other blueprints I use. Probably the only thing I've seen push out maybe stronger than this is maybe running like a Jester 2 blueprint or a Jester 3. Those pop out a lot of stuff. That's a very expensive run. But uh, these are absolutely impressive. And I like how they're dialed in tier-wise. You know what I'm saying? Like, the gestures jump by multiple tiers per each one of them. These are much more closely dialed in. Like, in all honesty, if I were qualified enough, I would like to see pushing it all the way up to the 10. Or the 8. I'm sorry. It ends at 8 for some reason on these. But uh, reality-wise... Each tier, I would have to have 500 base points per each skill that goes into it. And um, at this point, we're at the max range. And the next one, like on the, the 5, I will have some uncovered stats. Like, I'm not high enough up in... Um, I'll show you what we're not high enough up into. Machinery, I believe we are. This manufactured weapon, we are-ish. Uh, well, there's some things that we're not all the way up as much as we want. So remember, this was 2,000 ped to start. 
So we will now know plus and minus right off the bat without markups, guys. By the way, that's horrible. 38.7. We have got our buck kicked at least a little bit. We would want about a 32.5 in all honesty. It says that we gained 32 freaking ped, guys. So these are the blueprints we got. In fact, I'm going to snipper this. We're going to use this. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Don't know if you guys know about Snipper, but it's it's pretty freaking awesome. This was an excellent run. So we're positive, guys, and we're we're not even like talking the uh, other stuff. So let's flip these values up. This is where you guys are going to love it. Okay, get a new snip. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm going to be honest, guys. This this was what we'd consider a good run. Okay. Just wanted to verify exactly what we got done there. So that, that took about an hour and 20 minutes. That's not crap. 2,000 ped. We're actually up 32-something ped or some crap like that. Um, let's look again because I forgot already. Yeah, 32.5 pen. That's absolutely awesome. Um, I'm glad we got that done, to be honest. It's super exciting, right, guys? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to find somebody that is doing Entropia today. Looks like I have found somebody, too. I'm going to start over to them real quick on a raid. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And, of course, I'm going to be back probably hunting some stuff and figuring stuff out tomorrow. Oh, we didn't go over these uh, blueprints yet. Let's not let's not stop. Sorry, I apologize, guys. We'll wait on that raid. So we got the LP40, 39 clicky clicks of it. We got the SB70, right? That's that's pretty good markup. Uh, that thing stops me from popping up markup, but not great sales, right? We've got that. That's great markup. This is what I'm actually excited about, guys. Flat out. This is not great markup. Well, 4,000%. But I've, I'm waiting to get those online in our store. Those we don't care about. This is the 70. That has really good markup. 8,000%. That's not horrible, right? Uh, we already know that Long Blade 60s didn't have impressive markup. I'm kind of disappointed at that. I got it. Not a lot of people are at that Long Blade 60 area. Um, that's crap markup. I'll make these. These are an amazing weapon. This is one of the best just training ones. You guys would love those. I'm just saying. Uh, everything else in here is, is basic-ish. They have good sells on them. I'll make all this stuff. I won't actually sell these blueprints. Just, just for the record, you guys. Okay, I want to thank you guys for being amazing. Uh, peace, very best wishes, and I hope you guys stay epic.